Hello, everyone, and welcome to the November Q&A podcast. Um, if you recall, we started doing this last year where um, after I go out for Q&As in the various buildings, we try to follow it up with a screencast uh, so that if you weren't able to make it to one of those sessions, you still get all of the information. Um, so today we're going to start out talking a little bit about the United Way campaign. Uh, with open enrollment underway, you have an opportunity um, to uh, consider giving to the United Way, and that is part of your open enrollment process. And uh, Mark Daly was able to come around uh, with me to all of the buildings last week and just talk about a little bit of the good work that the United Way does in the community. Um, and so as you're going through the open enrollment process, uh, we hope you will uh, uh, take a look at, uh, at that opportunity and uh, decide if you're able to uh, participate in the United Way campaign. Um, the open enrollment, it's open right now. Um, you've seen emails that show all the different times that HR is out and around the, uh, uh, the buildings of the Intermediate School District helping people work through the open enrollment process and that will be open um, until November 15th. So please make sure that you um, get in there and make your selections. One of the bigger selections that you have to make is the health uh, care choices. And um, if you remember last year at mid-year in July, um, we really wanted to try to eliminate this potential for a mid-year increase in premium. Uh, share. We were not able to do that this time because you would have been hit uh, for a second time in six months with a fairly big increase. We didn't want that to happen and uh, so again when you make your selections this um, now during open enrollment realize there could be a rate increase but waiting will allow the new cap legislated cap to absorb some of that uh, so you don't get hit with it um, and, and plus some of the movement from the different choices that people make uh, will probably help those rates a little bit too. So um, I, I, I do apologize. I wish we could have lined up that selection with the calendar year, but we're not going to be able to. So when you make this selection, realize your rates um, could change in J July. Um, if you have any other questions about that or want to talk about it, please feel free uh, to come and, and talk with me about it. Uh, you may have seen a campaign starting around the county called the Connected Community Schools Campaign. Um, and, and this is the idea that, you know, traditional public schools, they've been branded as such, traditional, and uh, they're not the traditional public schools that you and I uh, graduated from. They are connected to each other. Uh, they are connected very specifically to their community and to the students that they serve. And uh, we are starting a campaign that really emphasizes some of the neat things that are happening in our public schools that they're doing collectively together, uh, like the middle college, uh, like the fact that the Career Center is an extension of all of their programs, a valuable extension of all their programs, um, unbundled options across the county. And we want the greater community to know that you can stay in the school you're currently attending and still have all of these wonderful opportunities without having to um, change entities or do something different. Again, public schools today are much different than they used to be, and, and that's what the campaign is about. Um, so look for those billboards and uh, look for the advertisement on uh, Jackson Radio Works and uh, the Bart Holly Show and uh, eventually an MLive uh, as we uh, kick off that campaign as a group of connected community schools. Um, one of the things that we're looking at as a group of connected community schools is the possibility of a balanced calendar. Um, and I'm not going to go into great detail on, on this because uh, a screencast will be sent out to all of you that explains what the balanced calendar is. But um, it is it, no decisions have been made, but it is a chance as a county to say, could we do and, and, and have the school year look differently all of us together as one um, and create better opportunities for kids. And so uh, we're having that investigation right now. Nothing has been determined, um, but it is a conversation we're trying to have together as connected community schools. You've already seen a screencast earlier this fall uh, concerning the accreditation process that the Intermediate School District is going through. And um, we continue to go through that process. I really appreciate the people who've uh, been able to uh, uh, take part in the, um, in the readiness tool uh, and, and take a look at that. And that process will continue as we move into next year. Remember, this is a three to five year process, so it's going to take some time. But we want to concentrate a little bit on ourselves. We've done a lot of focus on what we do for the communities uh, that we serve in Jackson County, but we need to make sure that we're doing the right things internally uh, to, to 
maintain that strong presence as an organization. So um, that is an ongoing thing and probably a board goal. One of the board goals for the next couple of years, uh, the board will be considering goals in the, uh, in the board meeting tomorrow night. So the accreditation process is one of those. We'll be looking at a larger school improvement consortium effort and while we've been doing that we're really starting to evolve that process and moving that process forward for all of our districts in the learning services area. Um, we will also be taking a look at um, communications both internally and externally. Um, we communicate a lot but sometimes that giving you that much information almost hinders you from knowing what you need to know and, and we're trying to decipher what is the information you need to know uh, for you to be uh, informed employees without getting bombarded with all kinds of information. There was a survey out there last week. It is now closed. I hope you took part in it and that is going to inform uh, how we communicate uh, moving forward. So um, that will be a board goal. And finally we want to continue the collaborative services that we're doing in a, in a number of area uh, areas for our constituent districts um, that allow for a collective impact uh, to happen as connected community schools and look for new and in, in other possibilities that perhaps we haven't um, discovered yet. So those will be the four main goal areas and the board will be looking at specific language in those four areas uh, tomorrow night to adopt them for this year and at the end of this year we'll see what the progress is and see if they continue into uh, future years. Um, finally, a little construction update. Those of you on the uh, Torrent campus know that that cafeteria is really getting close to being done. We have a few things that we're uh, uh, taking uh, care of uh, based on the fire marshal visit. And um, that cafeteria we hope to be open within the next uh, couple of weeks. So uh, that is really a nice addition to that building. Um, also, we're, uh, we were able to, um, are getting closer to the uh, new PD space here at the uh, KEC Center. And um, we've got some back order issues on some doors, but uh, hopefully that'll move forward. And I know that uh, you know people are anxious to have that uh, copy room uh, completed too. Uh, and I appreciate your patience as we've tried to work through this, but we're hoping in the next couple of weeks that uh, that's all going to get wrapped up and uh, we'll start to get back to normal um, uh, around the KEC building. And also the Career Center had uh, some nice paving done around the uh, barn area out back. So uh, a lot of things are getting wrapped up as we get ready for winter and um, uh, we, we appreciate everybody's patience as we work through these construction projects over the last four to five months. Uh, last but not least, uh, with hol the holidays are coming up here, and the KEC building uh, will, for the most part, be closed uh, from Christmas Eve through New Year's Day. And um, but there is one scheduled work day in there uh, for non-unit staff, and that is Tuesday, December 30th. And uh, what we're inviting you to do this year is to use one of your personal days um, uh, to uh, take that off. And that's not normal procedure, but we're allowing that to happen this year. If you have to work, or you know you really want to work during that time, uh, we ask that you work with your supervisors uh, to figure out how that's going to happen. So uh, those were the main uh, issues that came up during Q&A's here uh, last week. Um, I hope your school year is going well and uh, as the holidays near I'm sure I will see you um, uh, out in your buildings and uh, uh, continue to have a, a good month and look forward to the holidays. Thank you.